Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about audio in HTML5. So for this particular example, I'm going to go ahead and remove the video code that we had from the last uh, couple of videos because we don't need it anymore. Um, and what we're going to be doing is really just showing you how similar audio is to video. Now, keep in mind, there's lots of cool things you can do with HTML5 video and audio. Uh, and these are really just the basics. I would recommend checking it out. You actually have access to all sorts of stuff with JavaScript that you can use to control your videos and your audio clips. You don't just have to rely on, um, you know, just a basic interface. You can have it trigger events and stuff like that. It's pretty darn cool. And some of that stuff we're going to be going over, and it's just going to be in the future. Uh, because there's lots of other basic HTML5 stuff I want to touch on before we get into some of the more crazy stuff. But let's talk about audio. So in the last example, we used a video, um, and we had a video tag, and inside of it we had source tags. So let's try something similar with audio. We have audio, wow, I got to spell correctly, and it wants to put a source tag already. Um, or just a source attribute. I'm going to go ahead and nix that. And then inside of here, I have a source and I'm going to add an SRC. And this is going to be an MP3 file that I have in a folder called audio. So we'll just have it say audio slash. And the song I have is actually a song I wrote a few years ago. So I'm just going to throw this MP3 in here. So I don't have to worry about licensing it or anything like that. Um, and I can just save this like this. So let's see what happens when we come to our browser and we refresh. Not a whole lot. In fact, nothing. So let's come back here and let's change something around here. Let's just add controls. Save this. Let's come back and refresh. So we could also say controls equals controls as you saw in the last video. It's going to be the same thing. And it's pretty cool. So you'll notice that these controls are really similar to that of what we had in uh, the video. It just looks like an audio instead. And let's come to Firefox here. Let's try to see what this page looks like in Firefox. And you'll notice we don't have anything. As always, Firefox is going to be... Um, you know, an interesting candidate here because Firefox does not support MP3. In fact, the browsers that don't support MP3 are the same ones that support MP4. And you might be wondering if they're for similar reasons. Well, it has to do with codecs and it has to do with who owns those codecs. Um, so you can look into that more in your spare time. However, we're going to have to create a new version of this video file to work in Firefox. Similarly, how we had to do for Firefox or for Chrome, but let's just check this out on Chrome and see what this happens when we use these controls. And now I'm going to turn the volume down because this could be loud, I'm not quite sure, and let's just press play here. Notice how we can control it here, we can use the volume controls just like we'd expect. We can jump to the middle of a song. Yeah, that's enough of me singing for now. Um, <laughs> and so this is an, uh, an HTML5 audio player. It's funny because audio was so hard to get working on browsers before. You had to have a flash player. You had to go download something from somewhere. This is just really simple. Now we just have to get it working with the Firefox. So since Internet Explorer supports MP3, Chrome supports MP3, and Safari supports MP3. We're left with Opera and Firefox as the two other major players that sort of need uh, need a special video file or a special audio file type. And the common thread between Firefox and Opera could be either Wave or an OGG audio file. So uh, this is sort of where it comes down to your personal preference a little bit. Um, the only thing I'm going to say about this is that uh, the OGG format is probably going to be better for audio streaming. Wave is a uh, uncompressed audio file. Well, I'm, I'm, I think they're typically uncompressed. Uh, I don't know if that's true for every case or something. But wave files are typically larger. And a larger file is going to take a longer time to download. It's going to cost more bandwidth. Pretty much 
all sorts of stuff. It's probably going to sound a lot better, but um, let's convert this using the same Miro video converter. Um, if you didn't see in the past couple of videos, go check out the second video, HTML5 video video, and you'll see that how to download this Miro video converter. We can also use it for audio. I've dropped my MP3 in here. I'm going to select Format Audio OGG Vorbis. I'm going to click Go Convert to OGG. And now it's going to give me a song, which I can put into my audio folder. So it's gone ahead and converted this. It threw it into a Miro video converter folder in my movies directory in case you don't know where it output it. Um, but so I just drag that in here and we have our song.ogg. Copy and paste this and let's throw this into our audio tag just like we did before. So type source and then the SRC we can do equals audio and then paste it in here just like this. Now let's check this out in Firefox. We now have a Firefox audio player. I'll jump to a part of the song. Let's maybe uh, notice how we don't have necessarily as nice of controls here. It's just either volume on or off. But we press play. Don't stop the body. And that's that's the song right here. Check it out. You think that lately? Cool, so that works. We have HTML5 audio, it's working on Firefox, it's working on Chrome, and let's check out Safari while we can. It's gonna work on newer versions of Internet Explorer, versions nine and above. You can actually use something very similar to video for everyone. Um, this is Safari, by the way. Um, you can use something very similar for video for everyone. I think there is an audio for everybody. Let's check this out. Audio for everybody. And here it is. Audio for everybody. Um, a flash fallback for older versions of Internet Explorer. It looks like it uses Windows Media Player for IE 7 and 8. Flash for IE 6. Um, all sorts of different fallbacks going on here. Uh, flash for older versions of Safari and PC. Uh, but yeah, check out audio for everybody here. I'll post a link in the video and that's how you get it working on older browsers Just like we did with the video for everybody But This is HTML5 audio at its very most basic and in later videos We'll go about creating con your own custom controls and stuff like that, but just not quite yet So as always this is Scott with level up tuts if you have any questions or comments Please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at level up tuts You can also reach us on Facebook or via our website pretty much anywhere so thanks for watching.